Alright, coming up next, it is a featherweight matchup between Brian T. City Ortega and the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. He cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking accuracy yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, Brian T-City Ortega was 14-0 with a no contest when he ran into Max Holloway in his first UFC championship opportunity. That night didn't go his way, but a lot of people think he has all the skills and all the makeup to eventually get that belt around his waist. You don't lose, you get an opportunity to get better, and that's what Brian Ortega has to do after he lost that fight to Max Holloway. He will look to take those lessons learned in the octagon over the course of four and a half, five rounds, and apply them to his career as he goes forward. He has the skill, he has the heart, he has the ability, but now you just gotta put it all together if you wanna realize a UFC championship. And of course, if you hear the ladies screaming, that's because T-City has T -City taken his shirt off in the <laughs> inspection zone. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Ortega is 29, Chung is 33. Ortega is one inch taller, Chung will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, the Korean Zombie Chan! Song John! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Brian T. City Ortega! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Great punch. These guys throwing early. Nice one-two there. Stop line, so there it is, the only takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was gonna try. Oh, he's attacking choke now. And this might just be a matter of time. All right, so he postures up. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advantage. If you're going down, he's going to attack the triangle choke here. Oh, nice. Now he falls back into the finishing position.
sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. I need you to move. Scramble. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Ortega is going for a choke. opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Ortega gets caught with that punch. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go now. Our second round. Brian Ortega versus the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Not there. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice slip to avoid the left. And he lands the knee to the body now. I mean, that right hand landed square. Big down there by Chan Sung Jung. Looking for a guillotine. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. You control him. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the. Well, the Korean zombies now looking for a dash choke. Oh, is that a choke? He might get a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. And there it is. He got him. Woo! Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. 
All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, the Korean Zombie Chan Song Chan. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.